we are going to flash a GMC Acadia. They replaced the valve body and I always get people asking what's needed to program with the Autel. So we're gonna go over this. First, power supply. I really like these power supplies made by uh, Schumacher. This one does 100 amps, it's nice, clean power. This is why I always say you need a power supply. Look at this, my voltage is 12 volts. It's a completely dead battery. So if I hit flash, I can adjust it. GMs, I like to do it 13.6. You hit start, and it's on. I will constantly have 13.6 volts. Even if it needs 100 amps to maintain it, this will push 100 amps to maintain it. Um, and you can even see it's taking 20, 22 amps now. And it's dropping so um, all right you also need a laptop and the J box for the Autel this is the newer one um, I just got this from AES wave and Carlos all right let's get started oh Wi-Fi you got to have internet I forgot to mention internet matter of fact mine's in my truck so I'm gonna pause this and come right back all right so we got our power supply on now I'm gonna boot the laptop um, and we're going to start hooking up the J-Box. So, you're going to need to use the cable that came with your Autel J-Box. It's a, it's a nice cable, I like it, um, but you're going to need it. Make sure the device comes on. If the device doesn't come on, you're not gonna program because it's not powered up. USB cable on that side. USB cable on the left. I know you can't see the screen, it's okay. The screen will just magically appear. Okay, the Internet Explorer. It's AC Delco, TDS.com. Log in. If you don't have a login, you need to register. Scroll all the way down, hit continue. And you're gonna access service and programming information. Okay, if you don't have a script, you'll need to buy one. I already have one. It's going to open. It's going to tell you all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, look, I have a lot of space. That's All right, you're going to hit SPS. Start SPS. I don't care if you check this box. It almost always asks me every time, and I check it every time. <clears throat> All right, you don't need to have the MDI installed. If you're using an MDI, you need the MDI, but I don't. Uh, we are using the Autel J-Box, so I'm just gonna skip it. All right, so now you can see I have a lot of choices in J-Boxes. Um, I'm not lacking them by any sense of the imagination. Um, but we're going to do the maxi flash because it's the Altel. Okay, this is where a lot of people get screwed up. They will just hit reprogram and hit next. Do not do that if it's a new module. It will not work. It will yell at you. You need to hit replace and, and program ECU. I almost always hit replace and reprogram, even if I'm just reprogramming it. Uh, it just saves you from ever running into a problem. Then you hit next. <clears throat> uh, turn the ignition off. Verify a vehicle battery is fully charged. I have a maintainer on it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, key on, engine off. We have that. Um, the dashboard's on. We've connected all the J2534 stuff, so hit next. Okay, now we're going to pick our car. So what do we have here? We have a GMC... 
Uh, and it is an Acadia. All right, so now the J-Box is talking to the car and you can hear it dinging. It's doing all kinds of weirdness. Um, it should pull up a VIN, which it does. Verify that the VIN is correct, and it is. I always check the last 10. All right, so then you hit next. All right, so here's all your possible modules. Do, 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 do. So, this is one of the unique cars where you have to do a sequence programming to do the TCM. So we're gonna have to do the ECM and the TCM together in order to do the TCM, which has been replaced, which is in the valve body, because this has a mechatronic unit um, TCM. So a mechatronic unit is the TCM, the valve body, and one. So we're gonna hit next. Okay, now we need to get into the passenger side and look for RPO codes, because these matter. So crawl over there and look. Most RPO codes are stored in the glove box right there, as you can see, which is kind of nice. All right, so what RPO codes are we looking for? You need to know if it has MH6, which it should, because they both have it, and VPM or without VPM. So we need to look, does it have VPM? They're really nice because they're in alphabetical order, so V2, so it does not have VPM. I'm hoping you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to read. But I have a VZ3, V2P, but no VPM. Oh, so V, VD9, then VFF, VH, VK, VO, VT. It should have come in here if I had VPM. So it doesn't. So I do not have VPM. So. We are going to select RPO MH6 without RPO VPM. ECM calibration selection. Um, I'm in Florida and I call it a hot climate area, but I still don't use this because I think hot's like Arizona where it's 120 degrees. So I always just do latest mainstream calibration set. All right, so here we go. If these do not all have check marks, you need to click on it is it'll ask you a choice. Now what's nice about GM is it even tells you what you're updating for. So like this one's new calibration to ensure proper vehicle operation with the updated TCM software. TCM must also be updated to the latest calibration. Uh, it's a sequence, it's going to. So just always make sure that you see green checks. If you don't see green checks, you can't go next. Um, once you have everything green checked, you hit next. It's gonna pull up this screen, I love this screen. I wish all OEMs did this. Um, this tells you your current number and your selected number. So like you can see in line six here that it's gonna update the, uh, the, the ECM. And that's the only one. The TCM, all the numbers are different, um, which I expected because it's new. So then you hit next. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna download the files from the server. The GM server. Once it downloads the files, it'll then use the laptop, send the files through the JBox and into the car. The JBox is nothing more than an interface so the car and the laptop can talk. So now we just wait patiently. And one of the reasons I always put a maintainer on it, if you remember the battery was at 12 volts. And now look, we have a nine minute flash. So in nine minutes, how low would that battery go? All right, we're just gonna let this run and I will come back in nine minutes.
Okay, so we did the ECM. It's working on the TCM now. So that was the ECM. It's updated to the latest calibration. As you saw, it went so far and I was like, oh, I'm done. Boop! And it shot through the end. So I say nine minutes, but it may not be nine minutes. Um, this one's looking like 13 minutes, but we'll see what happens. Um, again, I've never used the Autel new J Box, so this is kind of a first. I'm more willing to risk it on a GM because GMs recover very well if they fail one of the only OEMs that recovers very well. Uh, Ford does. Chrysler seems to with the factory tool, but GM, it just, I don't know, it always seems to recover. One of the things I forgot to mention is don't freak out about all the warnings on the dashboard. It's going to happen. The network is being very weird, so I expect lots of lights. Um, park assist off, hood's open, I got driver's door open, so the interior lights are on, headlights are on. The whole network can do really weird things when a module's gone, so do not freak out why it's programming. All right, the dash lights all turned off. It says hood open, kind of like self reboots. That's a really good sign. They both passed. Now, one of the things that makes GM so nice is, is it'll set a lot of codes because the network went down for programming and stuff. So you have a lot of U codes. What I love about GM is you can just take clear DTCs and it does it through the J-Box so you don't have to go in and clear all the DTCs out of all the modules. This is probably one of the nicest features. All right. Now, I always hit proceed with same VIN. I don't know why it's a habit. Cycle the key. Wait about five seconds. All right. See if it starts. All right. Started right up. Make sure all the lights go out. All the lights went out. It's programmed. That is your basic GM walkthrough. You need a laptop, internet. I had to put this orange tag on it because it's black and I keep leaving it on seats. And then a pass through. I use the Autel. You cannot use the Autel with the Autel tablet. You must use it with a laptop.